Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Roulette, and today we're bringing you guys episode number 20, the big 20. We finally hit it, and I want to just thank you guys so much for watching the series. It's just so much fun to make, and uh, with all the support and all the comments that you guys give, it is just an absolute blast, so I'm going to try to keep it up. But for this episode, I'm going to do something special for you guys. I'm going to play four games this episode. So it's going to be like a 20-minute uh, episode. So uh, hopefully you guys don't mind too much. I know most of you guys do enjoy it, but we're going to have four pickups this episode, hopefully, all right? So anyways, we're going to go right into a little bit of a team update before we start some games. Uh, but the first line is looking like Joe Sackick, Ryan Getzlaff, and of course... Our man, Jakob Voracek, the 95 overall, the highest overall on our team. And then we're keeping the Canadian line, Jamie Benn, Matt Duchesne, and Claude Giroux. The third line, Zach Parise, Brian Boyle, and Valtteri Filippula. As well as the fourth line, Tyler Sagan, Ryan Kessler, and Rick Nash. This is the team we're rolling with for the uh, 20th episode. I'm looking pretty forward to that. As well as, we can't forget about the defense here. Eric Carlson, Petrangelo, Seabrook McDonough, and of course the newly acquired Victor Hedman and Kevin Shattenkirk. Our team's looking pretty swell, and you can see there Pekarini is also in net, and uh, we got Bobrovsky just in our backup, just in case if he loses any games, but we're going to get into the first game here. Let's see if we can win. Alright, so the first game is just about to begin. We're facing a Chicago Blackhawks fan. We're going to see how, uh, how we do this game. Let's try to get that win. Let's go, let's go. All the way across to Voracek. We need speed. Pass it to Sakic. Okay, Sakic. Let's see what you can do. Sakic. 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 Shoot! Oh, he almost gets a goal. There you go, Jamie. There you go, Jamie. Pass it to Duchesne, the back door. Matt Duchesne scores us a goal, making it one to nothing. A little bit of a sneaky play, but I'll take that goal nevertheless. Oh, beautiful passing. Valtteri Filpula, don't mess up now. Oh, yes! He still gets the goal. I was trying to do the backhand forehand just four times, and it did end up working. I'll take that goal. It is now two to nothing. All right, so it looks like this game is going to be over. This guy's already rage quit it with a two nothing lead, but anyways, I'm going to fast forward the clip. It's still the third period. Still lots of time left. Alright, that was very uneventful, but now we're going to be choosing that player. Basically, the guy wasn't even playing the whole time, so I just basically sat there, burned off the clock, and at least I didn't waste too much time. But once again, the Baxter Lakers come out on top, 2 to nothing in this game, 9 shots to 1, 8 minutes time on attack to 3. He basically gave up in the second period, so I basically just burned off the clock. But what we're going to do is we're going to check the 3 stars, Matt Duchesne with a goal, Valtteri Filippula with a goal, and Brian Boyle with 1 assist as well. So let's go choose that ninth player, raise that buy now minimum to 3k, and also buy one seventeen thousand five hundred pack. Alright, so we're back on the main screen. We're going to open up the pack first. But just take a look at some of those special cards that are out. There's some milestones, there's some player of the game cards, and there is, of course, the new team of the week with Alexander Ovechkin, Taves, and I think there was Sidney Crosby on it. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to be opening up one 17,500 pack, and let's see what we get. Come on, something good, EA. Show we haven't gotten one good thing in uh, one of these packs for Hut Roulette, so come on, it's time to make up for it in uh, Johnny Oduya. Abdul Kader going down. We got Griba. We got some contracts. Uh, Mark Stahl. Definitely not a bad pickup. I'll have to see if he can fit in anywhere. As well as assistant captain, which I can uh, put on someone. As well as that's just about it. So let's go into buying the player now and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, guys. So now we're at the auction search page. We put the buy now minimum to 3,000. And now we're going to be choosing the ninth player. So let's see what we get. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9. Jay Bowmeister is going to be the next pickup. An 88 overall left defenseman. Definitely not bad. We'll buy him out and see where he fits in. Alright, so we found a place for Jay Bowmeister to fit in. Not one of the players I want to remove from the team for right now, but as you can see here, Jay Bowmeister has fit in nicely with Ryan McDonough on that second line. Giving us a little bit more speed. I might put back in Brent Seabrook a little bit later. I don't exactly know yet. But right now, the lineups are looking pretty good. As well as Pecorini did get a shuttle that game. So, he is in net with a plus 5 all as well. So, we're going to get into the second game here. Let's see if we can win. Alright guys, so the second game is just about to begin. He's got Datsuk, he's got Parise, and uh, he's, got, he's got Perry on his left wing as well. So we're going to get this game going. I know by the fourth game, my voice is going to be absolutely dead. But 
In the meantime, let's keep it up. Let's see what we can do, and hopefully we don't get a penalty. All right, so Jamie Ben scores us a goal. That makes it one to nothing. Finds a little opening right on Mark Andre Fleury. Pretty nice goal. Oh, beautiful play. The double back can, and it does go in. Brian Boyle tucking in one on a breakaway. Two to nothing now. Let's keep it up. Oh, there it is. He breaks the shutout, making a 2-1. to one. Corey Perry scores him a goal. Way too many penalties on my end, so I definitely deserve to uh, get scored on. But anyways, it's now 2-1. to one. Still got another second period left. Being an impact player even without putting the puck in the back of the net. Arnold right, no, Borchek cutting his goal! Borchek's confidence is surging. Eric Fair doesn't track properly on him. Lots of time, lots of space, and a world-class finish from a brilliant young player. Second of the game for him and 18th and. Alright guys, so that is the end of the second period, and look at the stats right now. 11 to 10 shots, 4 minutes time on attack to 5. We're playing a pretty good game so far, but we want to keep it up. Oh, beautiful goal. I knew he was waiting for the shot trying to poke it off, but we do cut in with Claude Drew making it 4 to 1. Beautiful goal. Oh, and there is a backdoor play with a cross crease, making it 4-2. to two. There's not much time left in the period, so we'll see if he can uh, get a couple goals back. Oh, but does that matter? Matthew Shane doing it all by himself, making it 5-2. to 5-2, two. to two, what am I saying? Uh, pretty good goal. Let's keep it up. Alright guys, so that is going to be the end of this game. A very convincing 5-2 win. I mean, not a bad opponent, but for sure we had a better team. But we're going to take a look at the amount of shots we got, as well as the 3 stars. Once again, our team has pulled through, making it 5-2 in this game. 15-13 shots, 8 minutes time on attack to 6. Wasn't too hard of a game, but let's take a look at the 3 stars. 1 goal for Giroud, Ben, and Borchek each, as well as 1 assist for Giroud. Anyways, we're going to keep going here. Let's choose the 13th player and raise that buy now minimum to 4,000. Alright guys, so we're back at the auction search page for the second time for this episode. We put that buy now minimum to 4k because we are on a 4 game win streak. And we're going to be choosing the 13th player because we did get 13 shots. So let's see what player we pick up. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've already picked up Patrick Sharp once in Hot Roulette, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second page, pretend like those cards didn't exist, and we're going to go to the second page and see what we get. So the 13th player is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nicholas Cronwell is going to be the next pickup for our team. So close to Steven Stamkos, but still, we'll pick up Nick Cronwell and find a place for him. Alright guys, so we did some major swapping for our defenders at least, and as you can see here, here's how our new defender pairings are looking like. Let's go to the first line left defensive spot, Nicholas Cronwell in there, playing alongside with Petrangelo. We got Kevin Shattenkirk playing alongside with Ryan McDonough, as well as Victor Hedman, the big man, playing alongside with Eric Carlson. A little bit of a weaker player, but we're going to get this next game going. This should be the third game here. I'm already getting tired, but still, we're going to keep it going. Let's see if we can get three games in a row by that special card. Alright guys, we're back at our home arena. It's going to be the Baxter Lakers versus the Sherbrooke Phoenix. We're going to see if we can beat our old team. This used to be our old jerseys at least, but we're going to get this game going. Let's see how we do. Oh, Matthew Shane's got speed. Cut in. Shoot. Shoot the puck. Drew. Oh, uh, Drew got a chance there. Still got the puck though. Okay, let's see what we can do. Wire it. Oh, Matthew Shane. Pass it in front of the net. There's a guy open. Jamie Benz open. Shoot. Oh man, I don't know who he has in net, but he's playing lights out right now. Oh no, Cronwall get back, he's got back. Oh, there it is, okay, good save by Pecorine. He did get a little bit of a breakaway there, but we defused the problem. Alright, Joe Sackick, quick sauce over to Ryan Getzlaff, go, 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 go. Double backhand, oh, his goalie makes a big save too. We got one more chance here. Getzlaff, uh, uh no, no, it's over. 
Oh, there is the first goal. I was chasing the puck behind the net, and uh, he makes no mistake. Just puts it out in front. Jamie Benn scores him a goal, making it one to nothing. Got to get that goal back. Oh, Giroux! Oh, he just roofs the puck and doesn't really score. Claude Giroux once more, and there it is. Top left cheese, making it one to one. Time back up the game. Pretty nice goal. Oh, Getzlaff showing off the moves! Yes! Ryan Getzlaff making it 2-1 to one with some dipsy doodles. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, we're getting around him. We're getting around him, the backhand, and we make it 3-1. to one. Couple quick goals there, and we're back in the lead by two. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, Matthew Shane, that's a goal. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Shoot it! Four check, sack it, pick up the puck to Duchesne. Back door! Oh, Pavlich makes a huge save. Oh my goodness, Team of the Year Vorchek has an absolute rocket. Alright, uh, keep it in! Oh. oh, and there is the last play of the game to make it 4-1. to one. It's absolutely a play in the last five minutes, but I think that's going to be the end of the third game. I'll fast forward to the end. Oh, he gets one. Alright, he still gets one more goal, making it 4-2, because this game's not exactly over yet. Alright guys, that is going to be the end of the third game there. We did pot in one more goal, making it 5-2, but uh, still, we ended up with the win. Uh, let's take a look at the stats. So the Baxter Lakers beats the Sherbrooke Phoenix 5-2. We got 28 shots that game to 19. 8 minutes time of attack to 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Not a bad game for sure. And Ryan gets up. Look at that. 1 goal, 1 assist, 2 hits. Rick Nash with 1 goal, 1 assist. And also Tyler Sagan on our 4th line also getting 1 goal and 1 assist. Not too bad as well. But anyways, we're going to go choose that player now. and Raise that buy now minimum to 5,000. And also choose that special card. Alright guys, so we're back on random.org, and like you guys know, if we win 5 games in a row, that means we can pick a special card from the list. So, let's first of all randomize this list, put it into random.org, and we'll uh, see what we get. And we'll click randomize, and it's going to be Stanley Cup Edition card. Those are definitely one of the newer cards that just came out, so what I'm going to do, go back to NHL, and we'll pick the 28th Stanley Cup card. Okay guys, so we're back at the auction search page, and as you guys can see there, the collection type has been set to Stanley Cup, as well as the buy now range has been set up to 5,000 buy now minimum. Alright, so there's a lot of good cards to get. I know there's a Stanley Cup Patrick Kane, there's a Stanley Cup Lemieux out as well. Lots of things to pull. So, we're going to be choosing the 28th player here, so let's see what we get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. It's going to be Stanley Cup Mario Lemieux, just like I said, and we did land on him, which is pretty crazy. But anyways, we're going to buy out Stanley Cup uh, Lemieux, and we'll see where he fits in. Alright guys, so almost an hour and a half later, we finally picked up Super Mario, costed just about 575,000 coins, which is a pretty hefty price to pay, but he was newly released, so that's what you're going to have to pay when he does come out. But Mario Lemieux, uh, he's now playing on the first line center, playing alongside with Matt Duchesne and Voracek, and uh, I don't like too many big guys on one line, so I moved down, get slapped to the second line, playing alongside with Jamie Benn and Claude Drew. Third line and fourth line are basically the same, except we took out Tyler Sagan, putting in Valtteri Filippo once again because he's been lighting it up like always. But the defense has been changed just a little bit. I moved up Victor Heaven and Eric Carlson to the second line instead of uh, Ryan McDonough and Kevin Shattenkirk. Need a little bit more power on my power plays, and uh, I think Victor Heaven and Carlson will do a better job with that. Anyways, that is just about it for this little bit of a team update. Let's get into the first game, and let's try out Mario Lemieux. Alright guys, so once again we're playing back at home. He's got Wayne Gretzky, Alexander Ovechkin, and Jamie Benn on his first line. Doesn't matter though, we got Mario Lemieux on our team now. Let's see what we can do with our new lineups. 
Oh, Shannon Kirk, shoot it! Oh, off the glove. All right, let's go, Jamie Ben. We're gonna trick him. We're gonna trick him. I'm gonna shoot it on net. We're gonna shoot it on net. Oh man. Go Carlson. There's absolutely no commentary. It's just all defense right now. Oh Jesus, come on. That's gotta be a penalty. Drew. There to Jamie Ben. Shoot it. Oh, off the side of the net. Grab the puck. We need the puck. We're on the power play right now. Oh, there it is. Oh, Jakob Borchek almost got in position, but hopefully that doesn't go in. Pecorini, nice save. Pass it out. Go, 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 go. Pass it up to Lemieux. Newly acquired Lemieux. We need him to score a goal now. Okay, we need a circle around. Let's just get a shot on net. Oh, oh no. Petrangelo, grab it, please. Back. There it is. Shoot. Matthew Shane. Oh, Boyle, he's got a break. Go, go, go. Is he going to come up for the flying poker? No, that is a mistake, and we finally break the deadlock. Took us uh, about 20 minutes to score us just one goal, but finally we get it. We're leading one to nothing now. All right, guys. So going into the second period now, and so far it's just a deadlock game. 13 to 7 shots. Five minutes time on attack to five. We just got that one breakaway, and Boyle has scored it for us. So we have some life in us. We need to keep it going. All right, go, go Terry Filipula. Deke him out. Deke out Duncan Keith. One more Deke to Ryan Kessler. Shoot it. Yes. And we beat Ben Bishop on the short side with Ryan Kessler. Two to nothing now. Let's keep going. Oh, McDonough with a breakaway. Go, go, go. Uh, the double backhand. Oh, no. He does get the puck, but okay. It's one-on-one -on -one play. Don't let him buy. Just do not let him buy with Petrangelo. We got some good defenders. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Good poke. Uh, Super Mario to the other side. Uh-oh. Uh, keep it in. Let's not, uh, give him any chances now. It's still only two goals. Uh, cut right through. Victor Hedman. He cut through. No, he got a nice poke on there. Uh-oh, two on one. Two on one. We do not want to make this two on one for the, or two on one this game. Come on, get the puck. Cronwall, pick it up. Go to Giroud. Go, go, go. Skate around him. Skate around him. Keep the puck on the outside and uh, oh Jakob Voracek almost scores a cross crease for us, but still it's two nothing. Oh Mario Lemieux just showing the dangles. Come on, get it in. Oh, <laughs> I gave it a pass before I shot it. Come on, grab the puck. There it is, Voracek. Pass it to Lemieux. There it is, Drew. Oh Ben Bishop is covering the whole net. Oh, and there is Jamie Ben doing some nice dangles, making it three to nothing. I'm pretty sure this game's over now. <laughs> and he does rage quit the game. Jesus. All right. Well, he doesn't want the coins there. But anyways, we win of a score of three to one with the Vaxtro Lakers. Twenty-two to nine shots. Eight minutes time of attack to seven. We definitely outplayed him by quite a bit. But let's take a look at the three stars. Well, I'll take a look at who scored our goals. All right. So there are no three stars, but as you can see here, Jamie Ben uh, picking up a point. Zach Parise picking up a point as well. Claude Drew, Boyle, Filpula, and Kessler all picking up a point in this game, which is pretty crazy. But anyways, uh, let's take a look at the amount of shots. We already did that, but we're gonna go into choosing that player, raise that buy now minimum to six thousand, and also buy one more pack this episode. Alright guys, so because we are on a six game win streak, we're going to buy that pack. It is a win streak of a multiple of three, so we can buy a pack here. So we're going to open one up, and that should drop us down to just about 30k. So hopefully we don't pick up too great of a player, but if it does happen, then I will go into my backup reserves again. Try to sell those players. Nothing sold. Alright, this pack, we get, oh, Sergey Bobrovsky. <laughs> Uh, he's actually already on our team other than uh, who's our main goalie right now? It's I, I don't exactly know, but we already have Robrovsky on our team Let's take a look at what else we got in this pack Icebergs Edmonton Oilers jersey and a couple of uh, change positions and uh, Contracts here, so I'll take those and uh, we'll see what we can do with Bobrovsky. I don't think we can really do anything with him Okay guys, so we're at the auction search page for the final time this episode. We raised that buy now minimum to 6,000 and we're going to be choosing the 22nd player because we did get 22 shots that game. We did sell a couple items so we do have 70k, but if a player is above that price, uh, I will just wait a little bit and buy him a bit later and I'll show you guys a little bit of a team update after. So I should still have amount, still a good amount of coins. So the 22nd player is going to be 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We already have Victor Hedman on our team. So I'm going to go into the second page here. Pretend like this page was null. And we're just going to see what the 22nd player on this page is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Corey Perry is going to be the next pickup on our team. I actually have a free pack of him already. Free pack version of him already. So I'll, I'll go into the team. I'll show you uh, where he fits in. Alright guys, I am just so exhausted. I'm sorry about my commentary already. I'm just stuttering all over the place. But as you guys can see, uh, the offense has been changed by a little bit. And this is how our team is looking. So Matthew Shane, Mario Lemieux, and Jakob Voracek. Our second line is Corey Perry, Ryan Getzlaff, and Jamie Benn. Luckily, we had a Corey Perry in our free packs, uh, so that means we don't have to waste 70k on another player. But uh, Corey Perry is playing alongside with Getzlaff now. The third line, Zach Parise, Brian Boyle, and Joe Sakic, as well as the fourth line, Claude Giroux, Ryan Kessler. And we did have to take out Valtteri Filpula for Rick Nash because I do prefer Rick Nash over Valtteri Filpula. And unfortunately, he's gone from the team. I know a lot of you guys like Valtteri Filpula, but we're, who is he going to replace? Like, Jesus Christ, our offense is absolutely stacked. And the defense, we picked up a Nicholas Cronwall. We picked up Victor Hedman this episode. And I think that is just about it. Anyways, that's going to end off this episode. I spent almost two and a half hours recording some gameplay and commentary. So, if you guys can take a second of your day to leave it a like, I would definitely appreciate it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this four-game episode. Uh, definitely, it was a very fun one to record, especially winning four in a row. But that's just about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later, and have a good day. Bye. Yes! We gotta go back. Zach Perise tucks it in fivefold, making it 2-1. Alright, and that's the Valtteri Fopula line as well. Alright guys, so we're going into the second period now. And so far, we're playing a good game. 13-12 in shots, 7 minutes, time on 2. I mean...